I got an assignment from Mac Lurker, Dorothy, asking if I would go to the Tandem booth, and I'm here with Ben Marr to talk about their uh, diabetes pumps, and we're going to learn a little bit about how these work and maybe answer a couple of Dorothy's questions. I've got them up on my phone. So welcome to the show, Ben. Thank you very much for having me. All right, so first of all, what is an insulin pump? What, what does that do? An insulin pump is essentially, um, at, as, as that, it delivers insulin to, to those who need it, with those with diabetes. Okay, so you've got a tiny little unit in your hand. Let's hold it up for Steve. You've got a, he's got a little unit in his hand. It's got a display on it. It's uh, smaller, like half the size of a deck of cards, I'd say, maybe. And it's got a display showing insulin levels and a bunch of other great metrics, I assume? Yeah, correct. It's, it's actually monitoring your, your insulin, um, your continuous glucose monitors your blood sugars, and it's showing you the history of that, and it's showing you the history of the adjustments that the pump's been making over time to your insulin to keep you in range. So from my limited understanding, I've been taught by Dorothy, a continuous glucose monitor is uh, something that you stick to your arm, for example, a little yeah, patch. I'm, 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 I can show you one right here. This is called the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus Continuous Glucose Monitor by Abbott. It basically looks like an air tag stuck to his arm. Yeah, correct. Okay. But, it's, but it's a lot more than that. It actually uh, has a sensor just underneath your skin and it measures the, sh the sugar levels in your blood and it, and it me measures that every one minute. To see to see um, to see how your insulin levels need need to be. And this was a huge advantage over pricking your finger years ago. Yeah. Not that long ago, like a few minutes ago. Not that long ago, and many people still do that today. And that's unfortunately you'd have to if you you'd have to prick your finger sometimes up to 20 times a day to check your to check your blood sugar levels and and give yourself insulin accordingly. It's a what Dorothy's taught me is that it's not just. Um, how high your blood sugar goes, but maintaining an even keel is what you need. And so having a, we're going to call it a CGM, uh, continuous glucose monitor, having that is really important. But now what's important about Tandem is that you work with, uh, you guys don't make CGMs, but you work with other manufacturers? Yeah, correct. And, and today we just announced, as I said, the Abbott integration, which is the first integration with the Freestyle Libre sensor. But we actually are the first pump to be able to connect to up to three different uh, CGMs, as we, as we call them meaning that you can use our pump to, and no matter what it, different CGM you use as well. Oh, okay, that's a big advantage. So what, the product in your hand, what is that? What's the, the name of that? This is the T-Slim X2 insulin pump. Okay, and now you've got a smaller device here. Can you show us that on screen? I it's, can. Now this looks like, boy, I don't even know, that's like smaller than a cigarette lighter, but it's got an interesting looking little plastic probe sticking out of the top. What is that? That's actually the cartridge on there. So this is Tandem Moby, our, our insulin pump that we, we've, we're just in the process of releasing. And this is actually the cartridge that you see. So you actually have the insulin in there and that connects to an infusion set which, which connects to your body, which actually delivers insulin into your body um, every five minutes based on your CGM readings. Oh, so that's much, much smaller than the, than the one you've got in your hand. So is that in development right now? That, no, that's actually um, just re recently been cleared by the FDA and we're in the process of actually releasing that to the public um, starting this year. Oh, very good, very good. Now, Dorothy asked me to ask you, will you be able to update the firmware on the Moby? Yes, absolutely. So that's one of the unique things about tandem pumps is you can actually update the software. So today, as I mentioned, you, you update your software and you can, get, you can start to use the Abbott sensor. Um, both of our pumps will be t completely up software updatable and, and the, the unique thing about this one is there's no com ports on there so it's completely wirelessly updated via, via the compatible mobile app. Oh okay, so that's why it doesn't have a display on it or anything? Correct, that's why we can make it so small because it's, it's controlled by a, by a mobile app. Okay, wireless but it's still connected to you. <laughs> it's still connected to you when, yeah, when, when you need it for the insulin. Until they can magically transport the insulin into you, I guess that's going to be the case. No. So um, the other question she asked was, uh, with the continuous glucose monitors, you have to uh, replace those every three days. So it's a big advantage you're not pr pr pricking your finger, I'll get this right, pricking your finger 20 times a day, right. but now every three days, that's still annoying. Is it going to, is there any progress on making those last longer? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So yeah, I think, I think the, the great thing about insulin pumps is it saves you about over 2,000 injections of insulin you'd have to do in a year. Oh, I forgot but, about that part. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. But we are absolutely working on 
longer, what we call longer wear time. So moving from three days, ultimately up to seven days as well. That 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 means you essentially halve the amount of times you have to change your your insulin site. I would assume that has to do with infection and things like that. Leaving it in too long. Yeah, there's a lot of technology to make 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 sure because your body essentially doesn't want you to be um, opening up your skin every every few days. So it actually tries to resolve that. But so we're working on the technology mean, means that it, it doesn't get as irritated. All right, and she said the final question is, when will we get an artificial pancreas so you don't have to do any of this? It's all done in a full closed-loop system. Yeah, well, essentially that's the, the holy grail of what we're working on with, with insulin pumps. I'm, I'm very, very hopeful that, that we'll be able to come out with that um, soon and, and hopefully for your friend. Someday, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this just for type 1 diabetes or is it type 2 diabetes? So type 1 diabetes is not your behavior caused this, you're just... It's you, you're born with that, or you 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 get this, right? Yep. yep. Uh, right now, our algorithm, our automated delivery system, is is indicated for type one only. But we are actually working on a on on making that available with, with a regulatory body for type two diabetes as well. Very good. Well, I thank you for your work at keeping my friend Dorothy alive and healthy all these years. Best wishes to Dorothy. All right. Thank you very much.